Mom, you should come and see this. There was a lot of information dropped this week for Fallout 76 in the future in the wasteland. Today is October the 28th, and this is the news that you need to know for Fallout 76. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about it, y'all. Now we've got the Spooky Scorched and the Trick or Treat event still going on until November the 5th at 12 p.m. Eastern. And this is a great time to get out there and hunt some Spooky Scorched to earn some legendaries and potentially earn some either new plans or some spare to some plans that you already have to trade with other Vault Dwellers out there in the wasteland and starting october the 31st at 12 p.m eastern and running until november the 4th at 12 p.m eastern we're going to have a double mutations and a legendary vendor sale and now personally to me i do believe it is a good time to go to the purveyor over at the rusty pick and if you are looking for a one star a two star or a three star legendary effect to potentially earn or to learn remember to earn is a 1.5 percent chance and the potentiality to learn it is around a one percent chance but yes, I think at a discount to save up some script, it is a good time to go see the purveyor over at the Rusty Pick during their legendary vendor sale and see if you can get your hands on some of those wonderful legendary effects. And now a while back, Bethesda was offering some free items for games like Rage 2, Wolfenstein, Youngblood, Doom Eternal, and Fallout 76 for simply opting into their marketing email. And now this has been extended until November the 14th. This was announced during Fallout Day. So make sure if you never opted into those marketing emails that you go to the website down in the description below and make sure to opt in. The great thing about this is after you get the rewards, you can opt out. And Bethesda even says this on their website you will get the laundry denim dress the clean gray suit the astro attack pinball machine and the bowling arcade machine and this is absolutely wonderful just for clicking a button waiting to get the rewards and then opting out and now there was a lot of information dropped and hinted at for the future of Fallout 76 during the Fallout Day celebration. And to me personally, Bethesda put on a great live stream. I love the production for that live stream. If you missed it, we'll have a link to that live stream down in the description below. And now the team talked about the raids coming to Fallout 76 this year. That's right, friends. In 2024, we're going to get a raid feature called the Gleaming Depths. And the team went over all of the battles that the team is going to have to face together to make sure that they survive. And now they also talked about the four star legendary gear that players potentially might earn from completing these raids and also friends in a patch notes on the PTS recently they talked about that four star legendaries are not only going to be coming from raids but potentially you can find some four star legendary enemies out there in the wasteland and this has me very excited for spooky scorch the treasure hunters the holiday scorch and yes while it may be a small chance they did make a change a long time ago where a a one star would drop a one star legendary item a two star would drop a two star legendary item and a third star legendary enemy would drop a three star legendary item so i can only assume and hope that a four star legendary enemy will drop a four star legendary item and now it looks like we're going to be getting player titles added with the raid feature coming later in 2024 and now this is a prefix and a suffix my name on the pts right now is far gassier the stinky qa tester and i think this is absolutely wonderful and in a patch note, Bethesda did let everyone know that you are going to be getting titles from things that you have done in the game, but do not worry on the PTS and in the patch notes, they did say that everything that you've done in the game that equates to a title, you will have once the feature unlocks. And now it looks like we're going to be having camp pets later on this year with the Gleaming Depths raid feature. And now John Rush did say that we are going to be having some furry friends at the start, a dog and a cat that we can dress up and give toys now a great thing is is that they potentially will bring us items and i did get a legendary mod on the pts that my cat and my dog had brought back to me you can only have one out at a time but john rush did say that there are some furry friends right now but they may be playing around with some non-furry friends coming to be camp pets and you gotta wonder to yourself are we going to get snuffles back in fallout and now 2025 looks like it's going to be a great year for fallout 76 as well 
how the team put a presentation together going over more information about playing as a ghoul and this has me very excited and now I could see this being on the PTS sometime in December but the team does like to take a well deserved break for about a week or two so maybe in January we'll actually be able to play as a ghoul on the public test server or maybe they put it in there just before the holiday break and now as John Rush was talking dog meat brought them a fishing pole and John said that they had to do some research on a future feature coming to Fallout 76 so does this mean that we are going to get fishing coming to Fallout 76 or were they making a long about way of saying about how camp pets can actually bring us stuff at our camp I am looking forward to hopefully having some fishing in Fallout 76 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below now, during the Fallout Day celebration, Fallout fans from across the world came together to raise money for St. Jude's, and this is absolutely so amazing to see during this celebration day with parades and what Fallout means to everyone. Fallout for Hope had contributions from everyone out there in the wasteland and almost raised $17,000 seriously to everyone who donated. Art Just Watch, thank you so much for just being here and being wonderful vault dwellers out there in the wasteland. And now, if you still haven't earned your Twitch drops for Fallout 76, that is going on until November the 20th. And we did get some questions on how to redeem this. You're going to be going into your Bethesda account, and then you are going to see on the right-hand side of the drop-down menu, redeem code. You're going to take the code that you get from Twitch in your notifications, and you are going to put it into there, and then it should show up in your account. And now, if you've been wondering what Minerva is going to have in her inventory from the dates of October the 28th at 12 p.m., Eastern until October the 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is what she's going to have in her inventory. She's going to be located at Fort Atlas. But remember, if you missed any of the Secret Service stuff or anything here, you do have the big sale happening at the White Spring Resort November the 7th at 12 p.m. Eastern until November the 11th at 12 p.m. Eastern. And now if you're wanting more information about playing as a ghoul, Angry Turtle made a video going over everything that Bethesda announced during the Fallout Day celebration and breaks it down a little bit more. And now DTD went over 10 big changes that just got added to Fallout 76 with this new update. And now if you find yourself having a hard time finding some spooky scorched out there in the wasteland, make sure to check out this video from Mr. Westech. And now Wiggle Plays makes a great video talking about whether you should have the legendary effect antique armor or aristocrats for your full health heavy gunner. And now Tunnel Snakes Fool just put out an amazing video going over 50 scary fallout facts. And I got to meet Tunnel Snakes Fool at the Xbox showcase, and she is absolutely a wonderful content creator. And I think that you should check this video out. It is a long video, but she knows her stuff, and it's definitely worth to check it out. And now I've been watching Hacksmith Industries for quite some time now and I think it's absolutely amazing that they are making a real power armor suit from Fallout and if you're interested in this sort of stuff make sure to check this video out y'all. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and make sure to show some love and support to these wonderful content creators that we showcase today. Seriously thank you so much to the channel members for the constant support. Y'all have a great wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.